Hey guys, we're on 1TNC here, and we're back again playing some more Grounded. So, I didn't do, uh, I actually did, I was gonna say, I didn't do too much between episodes. I did a little bit between episodes. Basically, you did some grinding to try to get the stuff ready to take on the Pond Lab. I actually need to use this to research. Uh, I want to do the stalk. Yeah, these. I need to find a few of these so I can make the new um, lanterns I need. Oh, there's actually some in here. That might be perfect. Um, but anyway, I also want to research some stuff. So I did, uh, I did kill a few of the Pond Bugs and get some of the Pond Resources. Made the uh, pellet dagger here, and uh, just just to, like I said, tried to get a bunch of this grindy stuff out of the way so we could go in there. We could take on the uh, the pond like kind of right away. So the flim flops, I actually got the recipe to make those, um, and then you can see the gill tube. I think yeah, I got the silk group, so I got the stuff to make this as well. And then the bubble helmet. I don't have the sunken bones yet, but I know where those are at. We'll get those on the in the pond. And then. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, the dagger. Yeah, so we made this, and it was pretty easy to make. There, peplets, crude rope, lily pad wax, and I'm trying to get these to, in order to make this slime lantern because these are really nice for going underwater. So I really want to get those. And yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Um, hope you guys liked that clip in the beginning there of me uh, grinding grinding up. Yeah, I tried to do like an old school like 70s uh, spy vibe. So, so yeah, the goal is today. The mission is to take on the uh, the pond lab. Let's go ahead, let's research some of this stuff here. So we'll do the diving bill, spider chunks. These guys are, I remember these guys being a pain. They were way easier this time. I don't know if I'm just used to, oh, actually, absolutely fantastic. Okay, I didn't know you needed those to, to get that. So we might be able to get those right away. Oh no, I need the bones, so we won't be able to do that. Oh, this is gonna expire, so let's do the water flea. See if there's anything we need that for. Oh, okay, oh nice, I didn't know that. Okay, cool. Not bad, and then uh, what else do we wanna do? Algae, no, we'll do the water boatman stuff and see what that gives us. Uh, fluid flippers, okay, and then let's see. Uh, we'll wait here. I'll just, I'll just uh, do a quick cut, and then we'll research these last three things. Oh, that takes a lot longer than I thought I was going to, but uh, yeah. So we got three charges again. We're gonna go and research the rest of the stuff and see what it gives us. Uh, let's see here. Nothing. Okay, that was totally worth it. Oh, almost got our uh, knowledge up though. So that's pretty good. Let's see what do we got here from this eel strand. Point marker. Oh, nice plant fire. Oh, yeah, plant fire. We can put that in a grinder, most likely. And then what are we going to get in our level eight brain power? Everything we already know. Fantastic. And then we'll do the algae, I guess. Last thing, might as well do it here and see what it gives us. Green machine. Perfect. All right, cool. Well, all right. Well, I'm going to run back down to the little uh, base I made down here and we'll get a few things ready and then we'll head on to the pond. Yeah, so this is not fun. This guy uh, came down here. He. I was leaving Bertle's place and he saw me, he came down. Oh God, now he's jumping from platform to platform. You're in the absolute crap out of me. Yeah, yeah. As long as he doesn't jump over here, I think I'll be good. But it looks like he's just kind of been staying over there. So that's not too bad. But yeah, it definitely jumped now. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be safe over here because the bugs, you know, they've been, you know, bugged out. But okay, he's going away. Oh, thank God. I wonder if, if I shoot him, will he come over here? Doesn't look like it. Ah, really? Are we gonna kill our first wolf spider today? Oh my god. Well, this is fun. They were supposed to fix this, but apparently, I guess tip for you guys, if you're trying to kill your first wolf spider, just uh, go onto the lily pads and shoot it with a crossbow. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever though. These things do not, this does not hurt them very much at all. With these arrows. Let's uh, let's skip ahead and see if we can kill him. All right, we ran out of stuff. We're down to one bar. I wonder if I can, I'm gonna go over here. Hopefully he doesn't regain health at all. I think he doesn't if I keep, oh man. Okay, all right. We're doing this, we're doing this. Okay, all right, we got poison, but if we can just, oh, oh. I'm probably gonna die. Oh, I got Mithridathism. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. Let's uh let's take this off. Oh dang it, I'm not gonna get it in time. Oh, it didn't kill us. Oh, it actually didn't kill us. But uh, yeah, if you're looking to kill your first host spider and you want to be you want to cheese the heck out of it like I did. Look at all these arrows, man. That's probably like 30 arrows here. <laughs> then uh, yeah, just uh just go on the lily pads and apparently they can't come over here. And then you can get that first uh, first drop of Mithridatism, and that makes it a little bit easier after you do that. So yeah, apparently these arrows got stuck up here for some reason. Oh, we can get some of this. Yeah, that's how you get the lily pad wax, by the way. The lily pad wax, if you're looking for it. Just underneath these lily pads, pretty easy. 
Uh, some of the other stuff comes from the bugs. So like you see the water bubble, and we'll see those as we go in the pond. But yeah, I, <laughs> I just saw that guy. Like I was, I was actually kind of teasing him because he was up here. I was like, I wonder if he'll get stuck on this rock. Sometimes they stuck on this rock. No, it definitely didn't. He definitely like, chased me over here and uh, jumped down here and I bailed in the water. And I was like, yep, nope, nothing from you. And then he ran around and uh, I came back up from the water. And I was like, oh, he's gone from my base. And I turned and he was like right there. And then, yeah, this one I came back to record. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. We got Mithridastism unlocked. Uh, that's a pretty good one. We get the poison resistance, as you can see. Oh, where's that here? Yeah, look at that. We got one phase of it. So we'll get two more here as we go on. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sleep here, um, heal up, and then we'll uh, head down to the pond. All right, so we got food, we got water, we got everything we need here. So yeah, I think we're going to head down. I got some few torches here. We got a few extra of these just in case we need them down there. I'm a little worried about taking my armor off, but I guess we'll, uh, we'll be okay. We got the flim flop, fin flops on, I made those, and we got the gill tube. So shouldn't be too bad, I think. If I remember correctly, we got to go like straight down here. It leads us to where we need to go. Now, where's that fish at? That's something I'm worried about. Way over there, okay. It should be right around in here. If I remember correctly, I'm not 100%. Okay, here's the hose. You got to follow this hose down. Oh, this is the right hose. There's not. Ah, there it is. Okay, so yeah. Pretty much right where I went. That's awesome. Okay, I'll come straight down here and, and grab some water here, actually. Or some air. Probably don't need it, but uh, just fill up before we go down into the pond portion. All right, 80 seconds. That's good. Now, you do want to come over here because you can see it, this T-Rex. You can find, uh, you get the rotten... Uh, stinging spear there, so you can grab that. Um, otherwise, there's some raw science. There's probably a few other things around here, but we're not exploring right now. Oh, yeah. We got these scales we'll need to dig up. So we can go ahead and grab that. And then we'll need to get the bones as well that are down here. Uh, probably, oh, yeah, there's some more muddy scales. Uh, ooh, all right. And then there's clay and stuff. Now, probably I'm going to go up here, get some more air, and then uh, we'll continue on here. Oh, I did make these. Oh, I drink these potions, too. So I got Veteran Diver, and I got this Fluid Flippers. So this is supposed to make us faster. Oh, yeah, this is faster. And it gives us 92 seconds air. That's actually not as good as I thought it was going to be. You know, I like only use this extra 10 seconds. Suppose it only gives us Veteran Diver, so that makes sense. But yeah, you want to make sure you collect these muddy scales. I keep swimming away from them. <laughs> but yeah, you can grab these, and then we can... We can take this stuff over. I should be able to usually you can find some of these scales around here. Um, and these things, will, these jets will propel you forward. Now, there is a treasure chest there. We don't have the key for that yet. But yeah, here's a bone right here. We'll go ahead and grab this. Oh, dang it. Yeah, there we go. And then I want to hurry up and get over here before we run out of auction because we still have to go quite a long ways here. And use these jets. Is this thing turned on? No. Okay, we need to get over inside this building like as soon as possible. Now, swimming as fast as I can. We only have 30 seconds there. I think we can get in. Yeah, we get in here. Ooh, this might be tight. Oh, no, we should be okay. We should be okay. We grab this for all science, and then we come straight up here. I think we should be okay with 25 seconds there. This is awesome. There's tons of, like, resources in here. Oh, God. You're supposed to scan? Oh, man. Okay. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Oh, man. 13 seconds, 12. We're having 10 seconds to get in this lob. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, man, that was tight. Man, that was insane. Okay. The man here, you can see we got stuff to scan, I believe. Oh, we got some stuff in here. Go ahead and listen to this. Each member of the Tolly family, excepting yours truly, looks at Brussels sprouts, the great cabbage of Belgium, with utter disdain. Within its densely packed leaves, a high powered nutrient boost in a miniature form factor. Mealtime after mealtime, it is recklessly cast aside. Well, more for me. The body knows when it's lacking something. Funny that it doesn't tell the mind why, though. But <laughs> I have taken the hint, and I'll do those brilliant horticulturalists of Belgium one better. You see, these little morsels are a prime candidate for experimentation in my new submersible multifunction lab. A closed loop system complete with retractable sole of dog. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Dr. Tully, it's almost time for your appointment. Already? Oh, 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 oh. Trudy pushed me to go see a doctor after she remarked that I looked like a plate of wet ham. Very well. Mustn't be late and keep Dr. Applebaum waiting. 
All right, so he's been experimenting down here apparently. Managed to go ahead and set our spawn here just in case we die inside the lab, which we shouldn't do, but you never know. I do got to research. Oh, I didn't know that was. I do remember one of these being here, but I totally forgot that you could research some stuff. We got the buoyant marker there. Let's see, what does this say? Amistad day 15. No change from last week, but I feel we're on the cusp of something here. I've got an idea. I shot awake this morning sweaty with a memory of the frantic energy of fitness infomercials that popped on before the kids' Saturday morning cartoon shows. In those early hours, being annoyed at the greasy glow of skin stretched tight over bursting muscles, screaming about some new trivial invention, veins bulging with hot blood. But that movement and excitement, that's what's missing. I wilted, uh, Petus chokes needs to get pumped up. But this is the moving forward with an admittedly odd Hail Mary procedure for generation two, vascular grafting. At the time of writing, we've already removed the cumbersome stem from the growth process, rendering these auxiliary buds longing for a new system to be a part of. Add Bargo, harvest the appendicular artery off an old jarred appendix, and we have begun splicing them into the sprout roots, mending the union with a manner of agri-glue. The system, both man and plant, are not that different after all, but could they be compatible? Oh man, these experiment with mans and plants, not good. Uh, we're supposed to, probably supposed to read this one over here before that one, but uh, wait, where'd it go? Over here. All right, there we go. Yeah, this is day one. Okay. Initial diagnosis indicate that everything is working order and we've, we're ready to begin the Brussels sprouts lit live testing phase using the automated hydroponic aquaculture microponic system, uh, or hams. <laughs> I suppose going forward, Burl's task of cultivating the biodome mycelium network seems to have not been a complete failure and signals are detectable in all extremities. Biodome operational, grow nodes operational, fill nitration system operational, fungal network active surprisingly. Harvesting is typically 90 days out, but initial tests show small sprouts are ready within the span of a week. We'll look to optimize that further, keeping in mind a certain level of structural integrity is required to scale them up to nearly a grapefruit size. All right, sounds good. So first thing you gotta do is you gotta make, make sure, make sure you hit the switch. I made this mistake in my last playthrough and man, it took me forever to figure out what the heck I had to do because I totally forgot to hit that switch. Um, well, that door's locked until we, until we turn the power on. So yeah, basically you have to go and you have to turn on three switches that are out here. Um, we'll do that now. I wish I would have got the had enough bones for the bubble helmet because the bubble helmet's like significantly better than this one. But I don't know what what do I need to craft that. Uh, eel strands we should have gotten, and we need that. So we'd have to go back out there, which isn't too bad. But we probably will eventually do that. Now we do have uh, the potion we can take to make us into a better diver. Um, so let's see, what is it? This one I do believe, and liquid gills. They take both of these and then at least it makes it so we can go to 100 seconds, which is pretty nice. Go ahead and get our torch here. There is some pretty good stuff here. You got upgrade stones. Um, actually a lot of, oh, diving bell spider chunks, tadpole. We got, looks like water flea meat. So that's pretty good. Oh, a ton of these. We actually, we may be able to make, if there's four eel grass here, we should be able to make the, um, we got any two spire silk we should act oh we got berry leather too to repair armor man this is awesome oh we got sunken bones we got two of those we need to get five of these so we're not too far out from making the helmet uh yeah we just need three more of these bones and two i actually need two ropes so we'll grab that while we're out here kind of exploring around grab that and then uh yeah so kind of the first place i like to go is like straight out here and uh you'll see this little uh broken spot here inside here is actually one of those switches so you can get in through, well, it was right there, but oh, it must be over here. Okay, that's right. And there is a few um, like bits that are, try to blow you around. So when you get in here, this fan will sometimes be on. It'll blow around. Now there's a scab at the end of this tunnel here. I will try to grab, oh my orientation's all messed up. Yeah, you can see there's a scab there. Oh, there's actually a body too. What the heck? Oh, what? Another bat? Oh, another badge. Got gas resist and dust guard. What? That's incredible. Okay, I don't know. I'm going to not read this right now because I don't know if it's going to... Um, I don't know if my, my air is going down. I think it is still. So I want to run over here and grab this switch real quick and then we can come back. So we'll go ahead and flip the switch. There is you, there is a milk molar over there. We'll come back in here and explore a little bit, but I want to make sure we have enough oxygen to get out of here. Oh my God, we barely made it. <laughs> we barely made it in here. Yeah, that's why uh, I don't want to risk the oxygen too much because yeah, it will, you'll end up uh, dying. And apparently these uh, these potions I took... They don't do, they barely do anything for you. So that's, uh, that's good to know. 
But yeah, we got a new badge here. This is absolutely fantastic. Toxic Holly badge. If we look at our data, we should... Or was it OS? Well, let's see. Yeah, what is it? The, um... Should be this one that we just got. So Castle Spire sprouting out of the moat. And should be... Yeah, this is Eden turn, so we should have gotten this one. All right. So, D. Spencer, Pharmaceutical Te Toxicology, December 30th, 1989. Zaya, her head back below the depths. What I caught a glimpse of my last frigid dive had piqued my interest. Some manner of cultivated, fleshy variant of cruciferous vegetable. Holistic remedies are not really my forte, but the benefits of a sulfury fane in the Brussels sprouts are well established. Could this be an enhancement of the compound lurking within the yolk monstrosities? Only a field study can answer that, and maybe provide some insight on the effects we're working on or experiencing down here. I've been observing from a distance, but I saw the intern the other day. He doesn't seem well. Absolutely avoiding, uh, avoiding from now on. I should not like to have another run-in with a giant koi fish, but she seems somehow less dangerous. Anyway, dip down, grab a sample, and head back to base for some actual science. The kids haven't been around for weeks. I think it's safe. Well, apparently it's not safe. Because he did not make it. That's pretty neat. Yeah, we got to go and get these last two uh, switches there, which isn't too bad. I'll, uh, what is that? Oh, that's a picture of Wendell. Yeah. I'll uh, head over toward the next location and then I'll show you once I get there. All right. So once you e exit out of here, you're going to, uh, this, you're going to head straight over here. This is your next switch is basically right back to where we came from. Then come right up here and flick this one. And then, and then uh, we'll probably go back, grab auction, hit the last one. I'm going to try to see if I can get a few bones down here while I'm at it. Yeah, there's one right there. And then uh, hopefully get enough to make this new helmet. All right, we, uh, we got enough stuff to make the bubble helmet. So we're going to make this now. This is going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw that on. And this should give us quite a bit more air. We want a drink too, just to fill that up. And do we have any food? Yeah, we'll go ahead and eat this tadpole thing just to get that going. Um, we probably can just go ahead and get rid of this completely. Drop it on the ground. So now we can uh, head down here and we'll head over. Where we're going to go is right here, and we're going to go straight in this direction and get our last switch. So you can see it in there. Now, one thing uh, to be careful of... Oh, I need to get the right thing out right now. A dagger, because you got to be careful, because there are... Uh, yeah, diving both spiders down in here. So usually I try to just grab this and run. Because um, with your auction... Let's see, we, we can actually, we can fight them. They're not too bad. Are there two of them? Oh, yeah, I don't know if I want to fight two of them. Y'all can stay over there. That's fine. Yeah, we'll head back up here and we'll uh, we'll go go ahead and turn this way. Is this oh it's open already? Nice. Oh yeah, look at that. We made it into the inner depths of the the pond. I do believe is this lead. Okay, this is uh, continuing to explore the pond. All right, awesome. I think this door leads us right back to where we were before. Raw science here. Now, I don't think there's anything down. Yeah, this is just a blocked door. And if I remember correctly, we got a few things over here. Oh, yeah, it makes it hard to see in there, but you can see. Ooh, we got a chest. Oh, my God. Ten marble stones. That's amazing. Uh, what do we got here? We got some quartzite. We got a note here. Ham's 36 test. Generation 7 fitness stable. Vascular systems have evolved into something inspirational. Sprout muscula uh, musculature amplification research is going swimmingly. Generation 4 being taught the rhythm of the flesh in a way the fungal networks could transmit was certainly key. Each node is performing in tandem at peak efficiency. Condensed crop cycle manipulation is accelerating generational hybrid evolution at an unprecedented rate. Hams is proving to be a highly advantageous apparatus. Super dense Brussels sprouts, muscle sprouts, conducting a ripe symphony of proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates via the push and pull of plant and muscle fibers. The applications here for sustainable human omnivorous diets are tantalizing. Notes, consider an aero aerobics program for the lab monitor array to increase nitrification and introduce a motivational aspect to the growth. Plug data into Burgle recipe module. Finally, something we can share a common bond over. Nice. I think there's some baddies in here, if I remember correctly. Uh, what do we got down here? Anything? Yeah, it looks like... Oh, yeah, this leads down like way far in there. We, we'll probably explore that in a little bit. It, like leads all through some paths and everything and buy some diamond bell spiders. And looks like that's the way we got to go. <laughs> I thought this was a door. 
All right, well, we'll get this equipped and uh, you know, head straight down here. Looks like the helmet is glitching out or my weapon is glitching out, something like that. Wait, what do we only have? Oh, I already uh, took the helmet off. That's right. We're going to have to put the other helmet back on. All right, there we go. Now we can explore. Got this, which, oh my God, more rocks. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I thought there was another path to go here. Uh, yeah, that's where we came from. Yeah, where's this other path at? Oh, is it just right here? Oh, okay. All right. I right, got it. Yeah, there were some diamond spiders. I thought there was a... I hear them too. There was a scab around here somewhere, but it may be through that where that clay is at. We'll have to check that out in a bit. This guy's here. I'm just going to roll on past that guy. We don't need to fight him. He's going to try to attack us. That's just fine. He can stay there and just and have fun there. Oh, okay. And this is going to be a, probably the Taz guy in here. I'm going to try to switch over here to my good weapon. Ooh, we got some research stones. Oh, nice marble shards. Okay, that's locked. Okay, ooh, null bars. And we must have to unlock this. Okay. Oh, that, okay, we unlocked all that. Ooh, Bowdom. Reboot Bowdom terminal. And then we'll listen to this. Dr. Applebaum has pronounced me in perfect health. For a man 20 years my senior, I must face the facts. The gray hairs, the wrinkles, they are not figments of the imagination. I can draw only one reasonable conclusion. It is the elusive fractional errors of the shrinking process which are the cause. Trudy has asked that I discontinue my experiments, but what choice do I have? If I quit now, I will have nothing. What will I be other than a failed inventor and scientist with no discoveries to his name, unable even to teach the basics of physics to a gaggle of hormonal teenagers? No! If this means that I must sacrifice 20 years of my life, then so be it. Oh man, sounds like Wendell's starting to have some, uh... Some touch oh jeez, where'd you guys come from? Jeez! Oh, thank you. We're not playing these games right now. I will destroy you though while you're other guys. Oh, you're not, you didn't die from that? Oh, man. Oh, man. Nope. No thanks. No thanks. All right, we're going to go ahead and get rid of you right now. Oh, dang. You really didn't hurt me as bad. Jesus, as bad as I thought I was. No, you can die now. Yes, give me your raw science. All right, anyway. Before I was rudely interrupted, it sounds like uh, Windows having some side effects, which is not great. Not great to be having side effects from all this stuff. Yeah, I think we explored that, so let's go ahead and head this way. All these eerie footsteps here, which is <laughs> kind of fun. Oh, right, we got more bandages. Man, they're hit, they're like setting up for a boss fight here. I don't think there's any. I think there's just a few of these guys here. That's it. Bring it. Oh, we got another one. Okay, right. you're gonna bring it too. Oh man, I always forget. I'm like bad with these guys' attacks. Is that all? Any more of you guys around here? We got here. Ooh, upgrade rocks. Nice. I'll take them. Usually you can explore around here. Oh, yeah. We got some more. We got a scab on this shelf here with shallows. Oh, look at that. There's hiding stuff everywhere. Look at that. We got a brittle shard. I don't see anything around here. We got the research thing. I believe this will open up a little door down here, a doorway, so you can get in like a back way. Uh, we must have unlocked it because I thought you. Oh, what do we got here? Brittle shards. Looks like oh, another one over here. Nice. But yeah, I thought that you could go through here. It does. It leads you out. It's the pawn hatch. Okay. So I thought this was like a, a secret way to get in here, basically. It right, looks to be uh, down here. So we'll go ahead and head up here and we'll get the uh, the best thing that the pawn has to offer. And that's these muscle sprouts. Oh, these things are fantastic. I can't wait. To use these on smoothies. Um, oh, oh, pond super chip, let's go! All right, now, <laughs> mash some buttons, and this is fantastic. And this thing opens up. Oh, we got, Mar oh, let's say you get Martine. Oh, nice, that's fantastic. Okay. And oh, we got a burgle uh, little thing here. This time you've gone too far, Wendell Tully. You've done the unthinkable. 
trespassed the unforgivable. You missed Thanksgiving dinner. Oh no. Who can blame Trudy? I know that I pushed things to the breaking point and that she has grit her teeth and borne it. She told me that she could not bear to watch me destroy my life, let alone hers, the children's, in single-minded pursuit of this technology. Never in all the years of knowing her has she given me such a cold, immovable ultimatum. My science or my family. Oh no. But if only she could see. I am doing this for them. I understand it has been hard. It has been harder on no one more than myself. If only I had more time. If I could just prove to them the wonders that are so, so close now, they would understand, wouldn't they? And if they did not, perhaps they never understood me at all. <laughs> Apparently his wife is upset and wants him to give up the science. And he's like, not giving up the science, the science of my life. Uh, let's, uh, oh yeah, well, let's sleep and uh, go back upstairs and check out the hatch a little bit. Looks like we also got a side room over here and inside it, it's, it's got nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. But <laughs> let's head back up here. Cause it looks pretty cool when you uh, look at the, the pond when it's during daytime. You can see like the light and everything shining through. And yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely fantastic. One of my favorite things. So yeah, look at this. You can look up here. We'll actually take off this because it's actually skews the view a little bit. Um, it makes it shiny. So yeah, look at this dome. This thing is so cool. Like yeah, one of my favorite parts in the game is like being able to look through here and like see like the pond and everything. You see this diving bell spider being an absolute jerk and walking away. But yeah, you better walk away. Walk away, don't you turn around. I'm too tough for you. But uh, I think what we'll do now is we'll go turn in this burrow quest since it's right over there, this chip. I'm gonna go back through that little path, see if I can find anything inside that uh, underwater area where the diamond bell spider was. All right, so I cleared the clay out of this little area here and then you do get a scab down here, so make sure you don't miss this. This is when you're coming through these two areas here and there's a the clay there. You actually get like 30 clay, so it's pretty good. I killed the spider around here. I checked around here, didn't see uh, much else. Again, I'm gonna explore the pond just a little more. Make sure I didn't miss anything. If I do, I will uh, certainly show you. I actually missed this hams test here, so I actually checked this one out too. So, uh, results for Dr. Wendell Tolley for Barbara Burgle. Ingredient assessment. Test symbols are currently at 0.833% of target production size. Complex and somewhat tense muscular nuggets. Several flaps overlap to protect the internal organ, all entirely edible. An innate sense of fitness and survival compels them to fight against preparation. They smack the spatula, calms them right down. <laughs> Initial recipe module analysis indicates the use of a replacement for dry aged beef liver. Unexpected. Compiling flavor profile kind of palatability. Result onions. Ew, that's not great. All right, made it back to Burgle. We're going to go ahead and turn on this Burgle quest here. So let's see. How can I help you? I found another super chip. Thanks, Dustin Raw Science. This is amazing. Here we go. Processing. Processing. Ooh, better than ever. My diagnostic module Ooh, nice. is now restored. Analysis shows the spacer suffered a catastrophic failure in the embiggening cell. Oh, wow. If hmm. only. Sadly, I can only explain its function. <laughs> the embiggening cell stores and regulates interatomic energy transfer during the spacing expansion phase of the spacer. Oh, okay. It makes perfect sense. Put simply, it controls the rate of growth of the subject and prevents overexpansion, which can be quite messy. <laughs> Tell me more about this gross stuff. Yes. Um, if the subject's rate of growth is not precisely regulated, overexpansion will cause bioorganic subjects, such as yourself, to pop like a gremlin in a microwave. <laughs> oh, man. Er, scientifically speaking, of course. Um, so what all does this mean? News and the bad news. Which would you like to have first? Surprise me, Burgle. Natural flavoring is not, strictly speaking, natural. Now you know. My life is ruined. Thanks, Burgle. The bad news is that I have a spare cell here. Oh, nice. The bad news, it is Oh, jeez. Come on. I am afraid I must <laughs> stay here. A manager cannot abandon his post. But I can provide you with instructions. The cell must be filled with a special mixture. A cocktail, if you will. Another breakthrough invention by Dr. Tully. Hold, please, while I push the recipe for the embiggening cocktail to your scabby. Nice. Processing. Processing. Error. Missing directory. 
the directory you attempted to copy does not exist. Boo doo doo, boo doo doo. Cheese and fries. Cheese and fries. The formula for the embiggening cocktail is not in my memory. It must be on one of the remaining super chips. We will need that recipe in order to fill the embiggening cell and send you home. Okay. I am sorry. It seems like the forces of nature are trying to keep you in this yard. But I believe you are here for a reason. Hold on to the empty cell for me. And when you feel ready, retrieve another super chip to see if we can piece this puzzle together. Oh yeah, the dream. I forgot we gotta tell him about the dream. I'm afraid Dr. Tully did not program me for dream analysis. But I will do my best. Was it perhaps about electric beef? I have always wanted to have that dream. What? Why don't you describe your dream for me? Aha! That confirms it. There are two spacers, just as Dr. Tully surmised. One in the yard and one at Ominent. Oh, okay. He had a hunch that they continued his work on the spacer after he stopped working for them. It all computes. I do not believe these are just dreams. These are surely your memories. Thanks. But perhaps they only return to you as dreams. So Ominent shrunk you, and now you are here. I am pretty sure you are not an Ominent secret agent. I was JKing. That was a test. <laughs> you passed. Oh, Burgle humor. Gotta love it. So if you are not an Ominent agent, why would they be sh shrinking children? Surely I have no idea. Yet another puzzle for us to solve. On the plus side, your memories must be slowly returning. If you have another dream, please come again. How can I be of assistance? Maybe not. How can I help you today? I think I'm exponent. good. All right. Yeah. We did the pond lab. I'll complete on that. We gotta retrieve the next super chip. Okay, let's uh, let's see. It should unlock stuff for us though. Yeah, there it is. Pawn chip unlocks. It's not gonna tell me. Okay, it just says you spawn in the science shop. I guess we have to go. Oh, we got the beginning cell. Okay, all right, perfect. Is it gonna tell us anything else? No. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, we got 7200 raw science. That's fantastic. And so we got buoyant foundations, curve bases, cookbook for the pond. Which I don't know. Swim speed, journey driver, swim speed. I don't know if I need to make or need to get these right now because, uh, yeah, basically I'm kind of not going to be going back to the pond for a while. So I don't know if that's really worth it. So it's kind of funny they give you this cookbook because it's like, who the heck's going to make this after they've already went to the entire pond? Uh, the turrets are pretty sweet. We could get that. That's 4,000 raw science, though. I'll probably do fortified bases. I do want to have that. And we got 4,700 left. Um, do I want zip lines or ladders? Or we could do the hedge trick book too. This wouldn't be too bad. This gives us critical hit chance. I wouldn't, oh, we gotta find this though. That's not too great. These are not hard to find, but yeah, they're not the easiest either. That can be easy and too bad, but again, fall defense, we don't use too much. Um, I would just use a regular potion if it was for that, so. I don't know that I want to do that. Maybe we'll just do ladders and eventually maybe zip lines. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good for now. Curve, we can do curve bases eventually too, but I think uh, eventually we'll do zip lines. Ladders I want because uh, yeah, the, the ladders have my base right now are kind of cumbersome. Uh, this one we still got to, yeah. So apparently they're supposed to fix this, but we're not supposed to give you the same quest again. Yeah, I already made this like three times and they already told me to make it again. So that's a bit uh, frustrating. I think what we'll do now is uh, I'm going to run back and there's a few secrets I want to show you all pretty quick in the in the hit and I'm uh, sorry in the pond. So we'll look at a few of those. Hopefully it's not dark out here. Oh, no. Is there another. What's up? Oh, God. Oh, my God. That scared that aphid scared the crap out of me. Oh, oh I thought it was a wolf spider moving. <laughs> my heart just beat like a thousand miles an hour. Oh, I'm going to have a heart attack. That was terrible. <laughs> right, one thing I actually meant to do, but I totally forgot to do was uh, research these things here. So. I want to research the bones and then the spider parts and everything. That gives us nothing, so that was not really worth it. <laughs> Let's see the spider fang, see if that gives us anything. Uh, head mount, which isn't too worth it. And then we'll do this uh, toadstool pieces here that I got. Oh, mushroom slurry, nice, okay. Oh yeah, you got level nine as well. Oh, black ant stuff, okay, nice. Oh my God, we got another dream. Backpack 
there is match data. Body mass readout is an acceptable range. The skin fold degradation is minimal. Specimen vitals are stable and holding. Looks like we've done it. Great job, everyone. Let's set up three more trials for replication. Uh, sorry to crash your party. The Defense Department has arrived early to discuss Project Orc. The director needs you to be present at the meeting. <sighs> Not sure what's worse, our director or a three-hour meeting with the military. And so the plot thickens. <laughs> the subject of a nefarious science experiment? But to what end? Orcs are minions of Lurk and Shriek. My quest becomes even more mysterious. All right, so looking at video time, we're actually getting pretty long for today. So what we'll probably do is uh, actually end it there. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, leave a like. If you're not subscribed, you want to see more, go into that subscribe button with that. I will catch y'all next time. Thanks everyone.